Morning, you guys. Made it here, kind of, uh, we're a little bit outside of Duluth. Uh, parked at a quick trip last night. I had about 37 minutes left on my clock, so I just figured pull in here. I don't really know the way back to Hayward very well for stops. My clock is reset now. Just letting Wally walk around, hopefully do his thing here. And then uh, we're gonna get over there, get loaded up, and get on our way over to Del Rapids. That's like a almost seven hour drive, I think. So it's gonna be a hammer down kind of day. Well, he's interested in something here. <laughs> he's got the zoomies. We got loaded up here in Hayward. I got her all tarped up finally. It started sprinkling kind of when uh, we got loaded up there. And was tarping, but no problem. We got her done, huh? Didn't really have any problem. It's only about 43,000 pounds on here. And uh, you can see we got one straggler eight footer up here which usually when I get loaded here, it's like all 16s and I just only have from here to the back, but it is what it is. I guess we gotta get it done either way. So just letting Wally take a little walk here. Might have to go to the bathroom, I don't know. And then I am going to- And I'm going to get on my way to uh, Dell Rapids, which is basically Sioux Falls and uh, showing about six hours left. So I should be able to make it by the time they would close. I'm gonna get there probably like 4.30 and then um, they close at 5.30. So we should be good to go on that. And then I'm gonna work my way back. I gotta take a two hour to get my split back. And then, so yeah, that's the plan. We got her off almost, made her same day delivery. So I'm real happy about that. Worked out good. It was uh, nothing. It was nothing but pouring rain all the way uh, up until, where was it? I don't know, once I got over west a little farther here towards South Dakota, it's kind of dried up and just been pure sunshine out here. So that was nice to untarp, but we're just gonna finish off here and go find a truck stop. All right, guys, we are finishing up the week. Come on, man. I am ready for Friday to be done and uh, ready to party this weekend. Have a good time. We got our load of mulch on. We're headed back to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I finished up the week uh, yesterday. I, I don't remember where I left off. I hauled that load of lumber out of Hayward, Wisconsin over to Sioux Falls. Uh, got that delivered and then uh, shot back to uh, Wisconsin and then I hauled walls Thursday and Friday and then which today is Friday and then I ran over here to uh, pick up this load of mulch headed right back to Wisconsin so for next week we've already got our week planned out fortunately so next week will be the week of the fourth nobody works Tuesday of course so Monday I booked a load out of Illinois and that'll be going to on Alaska, Wisconsin, a uh, load of lumber there going to Menards. And then we are going to head back over here to Minnesota and pick up a load of uh, light poles going down to Florida. So that'll deliver next Friday. We are uh, loaded up here in Chicago and we are headed back to on Alaska, Wisconsin for our uh, first load of the week here. This is going to be the week of the July 4th, so we aren't going to be doing anything tomorrow. This one, fortunately, will deliver straight through today. And then on Wednesday, I am going to be picking up them a uh, load of light poles going to Florida. So this load here, we got about 40, uh, 45,000 pounds or something like that of uh, lumber, 47.5 uh, of lumber here. Had to tarp it up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get on our way over to Menards, hopefully be there around two o'clock, 2.30, and get unloaded and then uh, see, where the, see where the road takes us from there. So we'll catch up with you guys here once we get on the road and get rolling and get out of Chicago here. Well, we got up here and uh, what do you know? We hit a train. Good thing we're not in a rush today. Come on. 
So I'm gonna go over here to the Loves in South Holland, Illinois, and get weighed up, see what our uh, weight is there, and then get on our way over to Menards, showing 11 minutes away there. My stupid GPS, man. Every time the window gets warm, you know, it falls off because the suction, like, uh, dries out or whatever. So, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that thing because I'm getting so tired of that thing falling down. It's unreal. But we're gonna wait for this train here and then get her moving. Well, we're picking the old Pete up. Got a few things done to it. I had to get the stacks back uh, on it after I picked it up from North Dakota there. Put new piping on it because when I took the stacks off of it, the uh, piping underneath actually was rusted out real bad. So you can see we got new pipe on. Oh, focus. Anyways, all that's new in there. And then, uh, so let's just wear it wide out. Shit latches are shut. Uh, it doesn't even look like it's on there right. I'll have to fix that. Um, but yeah, we put all new piping to the Y. So I'm gonna get that hood fixed and then uh, get her started up. Well, this will be the first time I started up in a really long time. Dad ran it down here, so see how she goes. Oh boy, she's dead. She's dead. Yep. Well, we got her rolling. Hit the hitter with the uh, jumper there for a couple minutes. And uh, then it started pouring rain, of course, when we were trying to put my step cover back on. So that was just sweet. But. Dang, feels pretty good to be driving this thing. Holy smokes, man. This is, uh, you kind of forget how, how fun it is to drive the old 379, you know, once you haven't driven it in a long time and you get so used to, you know, what you were driving. I drive the Mac every day and the power of this thing is, wow. <laughs> Makes you realize how much power the Mac doesn't have, you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. It's fun to drive this thing around, but we're gonna get her home and uh, you know work on it more later. Well, good morning, you guys. We are here in Roberts, Wisconsin, grabbing some fuel here. Woke up about two o'clock this morning so I can get over to this place in uh, Minnesota and pick up these light poles headed back to Florida. So I told them I'd be there by 5 a.m. That's when they open up. So that's the plan for that. Show you guys what happened on here. When I got that load of lumber that I picked up, unloaded at I picked up in Chicago there and unloaded in Onalaska, Wisconsin. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because there's no light out, but had a little airbag blowout incident. So I went back to um, pop my valve to let all the air back out. And as soon as I turned that valve to let the air out, it just boom, you know. And I was right back there by it, so. That was an experience, but, uh, and then of course it was July 4th the next day, so nobody was open. All right, so here's what we got for our light poles. Nice, simple, light load. You can see I got a lot of straps on here. It's not because it's heavy, obviously, uh, but just that I want a strap to touch all of it, you know? So that metal piece, or med middle pieces are all banded together, you can see. But there's nothing really touching this. You can see there's a gap there. That one's kind of touching, but anyways, I ran one through here. I just really don't want this stuff moving around on my deck. But once I get my airbag fixed, I'll slide my axles back together. 
But yeah, we got a nice, uh, they said like 35,000 pounds. So it'll be the perfect load to go back down to Florida with. Only took them, I don't know, about an hour to get it loaded up. I was waiting in the truck and then uh, he said he'd come knock on my door when he was done. So that's what he did. And now I am going to get out of here and figure out where I'm gonna fix my airbag at. Load has been doing really good here. We're averaging 8.5 MPGs right now. So this is the kind of dream load that you, that you get sometimes. Super light, not tall, so you get good fuel economy, you know? So everything's looking pretty good. Check on the straps. This is, this is kind of what I was saying. I put a lot of straps on here just to make sure everything got touched uh, and everything was getting held down. That one I might tighten up a little bit. This one's good. So yeah. We got about three hours of driving left on the clock. I had stopped there, uh, I don't know, a few miles out of, I had stopped a few miles out of where I picked up at a truck stop there and took a little nap because I was just tired. And so now we'll just be running on like a split clock. So I won't have to take an eight hour instead of a whole 10. So I'll get uh, taken off once, once I run out of my three here. We'll probably be taking off around two in the morning or whatever, maybe three, um, and get back on our way down there. So I'm thinking we'll probably make it around like Hannibal today. And then uh, I don't know where yet tomorrow. We just got to see how the day gets going and you know what all transpires. So that's the plan. I'm going to run in here and get a little coffee, make it the rest of the three hours here and then shut her down for the night. So I'll check in with you guys once we get that far. Arlo, hi! <laughs> His run is so cute. Nothing like dogs and their sticks, huh? What'd you guys find? What'd you find? Where, where'd it go? Arlo, would you just take it? Oh, it's a beautiful night out here, you guys. I made it to, uh, I don't even know, I forgot what the name of this town is, but got about an hour on my clock and then I just parked. So I was feeling pretty tired and then pulled in here. And then uh, noticed as soon as I pulled in that uh, High Strung was parked right here. So what do you know, I'm parked right next to High Strung 2.0, come on. Morning, you guys, about 1 a.m. We are gonna just look over everything here quick. Make sure everything's good to go and uh, head out here. Well, we made it here to about Chattanooga and uh, my time is up. I got about 30 minutes left on the clock and I'm gonna take a seven hour. Uh, I took a seven or a three hour this morning. So we'll split it here. Uh, really gonna be pushing it. This place, for some reason, only receives until uh, one o'clock. So I just texted the guy and said that I'm gonna be pushing it for a one o'clock delivery to get there before one o'clock. I should be able to do it, but um, I said, worst case, can I deliver it on Monday? So I'm waiting to hear back on that. I'm gonna let the dogs out here for a little bit, walk them around a bit, and then uh, head in, grab something to eat and then uh, go to bed. Well, as you can see, I pulled in here as I struggled to back up. But I wanted to show you guys this. So this is what I was saying, how you want to have all your pieces as tight as possible. I've got multiple straps on this one, on this uh, set of light poles here. And you can see how it still even moves around a little bit. But it's not too bad. Grabbed a sub from Quick Trip here. These ones, uh, these ones don't look like they've really moved much. Maybe a little bit, inch or so. 
but I'm gonna eat my sub and go to bed. The guy texted me. So the guy actually texted me back and uh, let me know that he, just, he said Monday is probably not gonna be a problem at all for making the delivery. I think I'll still, I really would rather have it off tomorrow just so I don't have anything on my wagon over the weekend. But just in case, you know, have that buffer that I could go drop it off on Monday morning if traffic is really bad, you know, and I get held up. But anyways, we'll chat with you guys in the morning.